Developing now, the family of Gabby Petito announced plans to sue the Moab City Police Department. Their lawyers say officers could have done more to prevent Gabby's death at the hands of her boyfriend, Brian Laundrie. New specialist Matt Rascone has more. Yeah, many of us have seen that interaction between officers Gabby and Brian. It happened almost exactly one year ago. Today, attorneys and the family argued that Moab police, what they did and did not do that day, contributed to, even caused, Gabby's death. Watching it is very painful, and I wanted to jump to the screen and rescue her. Gabby's mom, Nicole Schmidt, is describing her thoughts as she watched the body camera video showing police responding to a domestic violence call. This happened on August 12th last year. You may remember officers determined Gabby was the aggressor, but ultimately decided not to take action apart from separating her from Brian that night. Attorneys say officers failed to understand the law and enforce it, and their negligence contributed to her death. A review of the incident earlier this year found police had made unintentional mistakes. Recommendations included more training for officers in domestic violence investigation and understanding state laws and statutes. Authorities say roughly two weeks after that incident in Moab, Brian killed Gabby and left her body in the forest. This brings back a lot of pain. Sorry. Uh, we just want to help people. We're going to do whatever we can. That's why we're here. Petito's family has started a foundation in her name to help domestic violence victims. Today was the first step in that process of filing a wrongful death lawsuit. We have reached out to Moab City. They said we do not comment on pending litigation. Matt Rascone, KSL 5 News.